This is Cytoscape 3.7.0. Today I'm going to demonstrate node charts, which have actually been around for a while, but they're well hidden. And let's go ahead and start with yeast perturbation sample network. First, we'll want to clear the current node styling to start with a clean slate. Let's clear the fill color, expand, delete. Let's set our node shapes to rectangular, default rectangle. Unlock node width and height so we can get rectangles instead of squares and update the default width to 80 and the default height to 40. Okay, there's some nice rectangles. We're going to fill in with stripes of data. We're going to map three different data values to each node. We'll do that using the image chart one node property. Click on the default value. Click on the Charts tab, choose the third option for Heat Map, and then we're going to pick our columns. Let's clear out this column and find three expression values. One, two, three. I used Command or Control for Multi-Select. Bring them over. Those are our three values. The overall min and max are pre-calculated for us. We can leave those alone. Go into Options. We'll want to click on horizontal to get stripes of data and we'll want a better set of colors. Scroll to the top, we've got cyan, white, yellow. That means yellow for upregulated, white for zero, blue or cyan for downregulated, and dark gray for no data. Click apply and here we are. Each node has three different expression values. Uh, mapped using the same gradient. You can edit those colors, uh, pick as many columns as you want, and you're done.